The Kindness of the Enchanted Forest Once upon a time, in a land not too far away, there was an enchanted forest where animals of all shapes and sizes lived in harmony. Birds sang sweet melodies, squirrels danced in the trees, and rabbits hopped through the tall grass. The most special thing about this forest was the crystal lake at its center. It was said that the water of Crystal Lake possessed magical properties that could bring happiness and prosperity to anyone who treated it with kindness. In this forest, there lived a curious and mischievous fox named Felix. Felix was known throughout the forest as a troublemaker. He would steal nuts from the squirrels, play pranks on the rabbits, and disturb the birds' nests. He had no friends because no one could trust him, and he didn't seem to care about anyone's feelings. One sunny morning, Felix woke up with an idea that would make him the most famous animal in the forest. He had heard about the magical properties of Crystal Lake and thought, if I can take some of that magical water, I can become the most powerful and respected animal in the whole forest. With his plan in mind, Felix set off on a journey to Crystal Lake. Along the way, he encountered a kind old owl named Oliver who was perched on a tree branch. Where are you going in such a hurry, young Felix? asked Oliver. Felix, not wanting to reveal his true intentions, replied, I'm just going for a walk, dear Oliver. The wise owl studied Felix for a moment and said, Remember, young one, that kindness is the true source of power and respect in this forest. Felix brushed off Oliver's words and continued on his way. He finally reached Crystal Lake, and there it was, sparkling with its magical glow. Without a second thought, Felix dipped his paw into the lake and tried to scoop some of the water into a container he had brought along. But as he did, a strange thing happened. The water in the lake began to ripple and churn, and before he knew it, he found himself being pulled into the lake by some unseen force. Inside the lake, Felix was surrounded by a beautiful underwater world filled with colorful fish, talking seashells, and friendly turtles. The guardian of the lake, a majestic mermaid named Marina, appeared before him. Why have you disturbed the peace of Crystal Lake? She asked. Felix, realizing he had made a grave mistake, replied, I. I just wanted to become powerful and respected. I didn't know the lake had a guardian. Marina sighed and said, the power of the lake can only be harnessed by those who are kind-hearted and respectful of its magic. But I sense that you are not entirely bad. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. Marina decided to give Felix a chance to change his ways. She instructed him to perform three acts of kindness in the forest, and if he succeeded, she would allow him to leave the lake unharmed. Felix agreed, knowing he had no other choice. As he returned to the forest, Felix pondered over how to perform acts of kindness. He had never done anything nice for anyone before. He decided to start with the birds, as he had often disturbed their nests in the past. He carefully built new nests for them, making sure they were safe and cozy. Next. Felix came across a family of rabbits who were struggling to find food. Remembering the times he had stolen from them, he decided to help them gather some delicious berries. The rabbits were surprised by Felix's change of heart and thanked him for his generosity. Finally, Felix encountered a group of squirrels who were trying to reach some hard-to-reach nuts. He climbed the tree and helped them collect the nuts, apologizing for his past actions. The squirrels forgave him and even shared some of the nuts with him. Having completed his three acts of kindness, Felix returned to Crystal Lake, hoping that Marina would keep her promise. Marina appeared before him once again, and this time, she smiled. You have shown that there is kindness within you, Marina said. The magic of Crystal Lake will now be yours to use for good. With a touch of her hand, Marina filled Felix's container with the magical water from the lake. Felix thanked her and returned to the forest, determined to use the magic water to make the forest a better place for all its inhabitants. Word of Felix's transformation spread throughout the forest, and animals who were once wary of him began to trust and befriend him. He used the magic water to heal sick animals, make the trees bloom with beautiful flowers, and ensure there was always enough food for everyone. As the seasons passed, the enchanted forest flourished like never before, all thanks to Felix's newfound kindness. He became not the most powerful, but the most beloved animal in the forest, respected by all for his generosity and compassion. The moral of the story is that kindness is a magic that can transform even the most mischievous of hearts. It has the power to bring happiness and prosperity not only to oneself but to the entire community. So, 
Always remember, in the end, it's kindness that makes us truly powerful and respected.